Hello and welcome to Seven Sentinels. This is Grandmaster Class, and I'm Peter Simon with you. Today we are conducting writing corrections, and uh, here we are with a blessed choice from Delhi, India. And the case is shoulder dislocation, and the patient's name is Mrs. Natalia Romanova, and the current letter is five 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 one seven. If anyone is interested in writing subscriptions, you can contact me on this number. Right. So 205 words and you're writing to letter to community nurse, community center. And this community center in Kent. Community center is in Kent. Right. Okay. And uh, the letter dated. So 17 May 2020. Discharge date 17 May. 2020, that is right. Dear nurse, right. Regarding Mrs. Natalia Romanova, 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 comma, aged, date of birth is not given, aged 60. Okay. Data, but is not given. Yes. Mrs. Romanova. Who had a fall at home yesterday. Yeah, so fall at home yesterday. Fall mm. at home yesterday. Sixteen five requires home visits. For ongoing care. From yesterday's city. And she is being discharged today. Mrs. Romanova, who had a fall at home yesterday, requires home visits. Is a referral letter. Using the information in the case notes, write a referral letter. So remove requires and say is being referred. For home visits. Requiring refer for regular home visits. For providing for ongoing care. Now is being referred for regular home visits for ongoing care. Ongoing care. Physiotherapy needed, assistance is needed, education is needed. So, appropriate management. Not just a care. Okay, from your facility. Following. Following 
the discharge. So following the or following the discharge. So following the discharge back home to the yeah. Mrs. Romanova is a widow. So every time you are writing Mrs. Romanova, Mrs. Romanova can avoid. He is a widow and lives alone after her husband's death. Following the demise of her, of the husband's death, like that you can write. You know Mrs. Romanova. So after, since, since the husband's demise, death is correct only, I'm not saying it is wrong. Better word, since the death, since the husband's demise, comma, um, So husband's death means widow only. Widow means husband death only. No need to say again and again. Say widow or say husband's death. Anyone. No need of repetition. Since the husband's death leading a lonely life or solitary life has been reported, finished. So all these things, what is the use now? So simple as that. Thereafter, frequent bouts of thereafter, after what? After leading a lonely life or after husband's death? Okay, I don't think this word is suitable here. You can say additionally. Thereafter means after that, after what? After what? Additionally, frequent bouts of depression and suicidal ideations have been observed. By whom? Who observed? Who observed? Mm -hmm. Who observed? You observed, you will not be definitely with her always. Ne? So if they are not observed here, noticed or not notified or informed, you can use like that. So additionally, frequent bouts of depression and suicidal ideations have been notified. She told you, otherwise you will not know. Therefore, She visits a psychologist twice a month, twice monthly. You know, she visits a psychologist twice a month, is enough, twice a month, twice monthly, like that also you can see twice monthly or monthly twice. In addition, difficulty in mobilizing and incapable in doing in difficulty, then here also incapability, inability, incapability. Doing self activities. What do you mean by self activities? Doing in performing. Performing activities. 
of daily living difficulty in mobilizing and incapability in perform two things have been notified noticed not noticed informed reported informed notified pertaining to her medical history she has had osteoporosis so osteoporosis is medical history only why do you want to say pertaining to her medical history is it required she has had osteoporosis since 2008 osteoporosis and alzheimers since 2008 and 2005 respectively alzheimers a capital letter alzheimers is the name of a person is named after a disease um yeah mrs romanova was admitted yesterday Mrs. Romanova was admitted yesterday with the chief complaints of shoulder dislocation, multiple injuries on her arm, and severe headache, along with an episode of vomiting. Upon physical examination, displacement of the shoulder and swelling have been here not notified, noticed. On examination, you will notice, na? Those words here, here words there, you are writing. what they have to tell you are telling you notice what you have to notice you are telling notified by others not fine noticed you have noticed on examination then what did, if somebody notifies you then what you will you examine physical examination okay during hospitalization non steroidal anti inflammatory drug and analgesics were commenced um if you said drug you have to say a if you say analgesic you have to say an otherwise plural is needed drugs and analgesics you know otherwise you have to say singular a drug an analgesic so better you write it plural form no additionally closed reduction along the provision of sling was treated closed reduction in application of swing additionally closed reduction closed reduction okay closed reduction medical closed reduction the close reduction doctor physically moves the bones back into place without surgically exposing the bone additionally close reduction was performed
to manage the condition. Uh, along with, so yeah, that is different thing. So separated, no? there is no relation with that and this. Okay. Reduction application of slinger. Sling is a device used to support and keep still. Sling, they are not this thing can be used. Application of a sling. Types of an application. Okay. A sling. So during hospitalization, sorry, has the so analytics have been. Then a sling has been applied. A sling has been applied uh, to support to immobilize the injured part. It's applied to immobilize. Dislocated bone immobilize the okay injured injured shoulder. Injured location currently a remar remarkable signs of progress have been noticed very good that is fine so here already we use noticed here noticed so here we'll change it to observe uh, fine based on the aforementioned circumstances Continuing placing sling. Continuation of placing sling and immobilization of the affected area would be highly beneficial. Yeah. Good. This is a good sentence. This is a good sentence. So here, immobilize the injured location is not needed then because you have already written affected area, immobilization of the affected area. So applied is enough. Because you have already mentioned down. I did not see that, right? Hmm. Would be highly beneficial. Placing sling and immobilization. Continuation of placing sling and immobilization of the affected area would be highly beneficial providing physiotherapy and assisting for providing physiotherapy and assisting for performing activities of daily living are advised kindly educate kindly why kindly why kindly <coughs> okay education relevant Relevant education relevant education regarding the 
regarding prevention or regarding is already there regarding prevention regular education regarding prevention from falls in the future has been provided it is worth mentioning that it is worth mentioning that it is worth mentioning that a follow up appointment with an orthopedic surgeon after 2 weeks has been scheduled so 2 weeks you can write as a fortnight after a fortnight has been scheduled after a fortnight has been scheduled a follow up appointment so you can say an appointment for review with a orthopedic surgeon follow up means review only na okay follow up. what to do next in case any additional information is deemed reliable please do not hesitate to contact sorry yours faithfully registered nurse two lines here registered nurse saint reds international hospital Kent. United Kingdom. Registered nurse, Central Center of Kent, UK. Yeah. Yes, bless yours. Yeah, Nasra Muhammad. Good morning. Yeah, we'll correct you later. Yesterday, I just wanted to relax for some time. Nasra, I lost myself. Uh, sorry for that. I don't know I, when I went fast sleep. I don't know. Just I thought I I did not eat lunch dinner also. Maybe because of tiredness. So sorry for that. Hmm. Now management is management doesn't mean treatment. Management means managing the conditions. Is a diet managing his diet, manages exercise, manages the hospital schedules, all those things. So
file save. Save as PDF. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So anything you want to say, bless Jos. You can unmute if you want to say anything. Next is Pranita Pamarti. So after that one, Nasra Muhammad. So fourth letter is Pranita. Yeah, Jos, you can speak anything. Pranita Pamarti. And fifth letter is Nasra Muhammad. Sixth letter is Siji Joseph. So these are the letters in this order we'll be correcting now. Yeah. So So that's all for the letter for Bless Joe's India from Delhi. The case is shoulder dislocation and the name of the patient is Mrs. Natalia Romanova. The five 517 number letter. So, if anyone is interested in writing feedback, you can contact me on this number 987786360. And that's all for the session today.